again. Please have a seat. Uh, I'm assuming you were giving me a standing ovation from your living room. And if you weren't, why not? <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. That was for Portia. She's, she's giving me the heart hands. Heart? Or was that a circle? You hungry? Do you want a donut? Anyway, I am still in my house and uh, still in this chair. I would move, but my leg fell asleep on Friday. Can't feel a thing. And uh, I just don't want to risk it. If you're normally uh, at work during the week and you haven't seen my show, uh, this is not what it usually looks like. Usually we have a big fancy set and a huge screen for pictures. And usually I wear a long flowing wig and a gown. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. Andy's outside. If you don't know Andy, he's uh, average. Um, by the way, I've never worn a wig. This is all me, real me. Plus my butt pads. <laughs> oh, more hard hands from Portia. No, oh, you do want a donut. Sorry, okay. Uh, the point is, I have short hair, which means that I have to cut it a lot. And uh, usually I cut it every few weeks, you know? And um, I like to change my hair up. If you've seen the show before, I, I change it a lot. But since quarantine, I can't cut my hair or, or get it cut because the uh, salons are closed. And I'm still not desperate enough to go to Petco Groomer. I won't do it. Um, and I'm not the only person who wishes they could get their hair cut right now. Andy is has been complaining. Andy, you said you wanted a haircut, right? I did not. Really? I, uh, um, well, let's take a look at your hair right now. Okay. I mean, it's a lot, but I wear a baseball hat until I can get to uh, yeah. my girl, Lisa, who cuts my hair. You're looking a little like Lou Ferrigno. All right. All right, thank you. I learned, look, listen to this, Andy. I'm listening. One of the most- What else do I have to do? Just, just listen and, okay. and don't talk back to me. Okay. Um, so uh, I, I learned that one of the most Google things right now is how to cut your own hair. So we're not the only ones, Andy. Everybody is freaking out, like, what am I gonna do with my hair? Yeah. So I thought I would get the, I mean, I'll say one of the best, just to, to not offend other hairdressers, but I, he's, he's pretty darn good uh, to teach us how to do it. He's done everyone's hair. He does my hair. He does Jennifer Aniston's hair. And I can't tell you anybody else because stylist client. He gave her the Rachel. He created the Rachel. That's right, Andy. Okay. Just wanted you to know that. Anyway, he's very talented. So say hello to Chris McMillan, everybody. Chris? <laughs> Bye, Ellen. Thank you so much for doing this. Okay. First of all. Thank you for having me. So what are your thoughts about people cutting their own hair? My thoughts right now today is this is a great time to get your hair to grow and get healthy. It's time for a lot of people to get their ends trimmed, if anything. Okay, well, first of all, let's start- He created the Rachel. What, yes, he created the Rachel. Um, what tools do people Hi, need? Hi. The tools that you would need, if you're just at home, Obviously, I have a full kit because I'm a hairdresser. But if you're just at home, you probably have kitchen scissors in your wow, you utility use, drawer. Really? These are fine. Most people do. I found these. I forgot I had them. When I go to you, you're like a Benihana chef. You have about 19 scissors, <laughs> and you'll cut a piece of hair with one scissor, and then you'll change to another scissor for another piece of hair. Yeah. What What do the different scissors, and then all of a sudden now I'm learning okay. we can use like garden shears. Well, he's an artist. <laughs> you could use garden shears if you want. I mean, it's, they're a little big. I, I bet if you went into your kitchen, you could find these. Okay, all right, Guaranteed. let's cut hair. Let's and cut then, hair, what are we doing? Okay, so first of all, I have a wig. This is Quarantina. And uh, I pulled this wig out because it's got roots, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to have roots. Quarantina's yes. bangs are a little long. Okay, let's cut bangs. Okay. Should your hair be dry or wet when we cut it? When you're doing your own haircut, you should have your hair, you should wash it and blow dry it and then cut it from there. Okay. Not normally, like I would shampoo your hair and cut your hair wet, 
I think okay. though, when you're doing your own, you want to see kind of where it's going to fall. So right. I blow okay. dried my you hair. You look like Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. You know what's so funny is I actually look like a rock star more than a drag queen with. That's what I just said. <laughs> with the thieves on. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to grow my hair. So take the bangs, take a little section, just the front pieces, take your kitchen scissors. If you cut them too short, obviously, if you cut them to where you think you want them, they're going to bounce up and they're going to be like this. I can't see, so I'm going by audio only, Ellen. No, there's a mirror like out there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And these, well, then what you can do is you can take the tips, just kind of <laughs> like, just the tips. Yep. a little bit. Just I'll show you how to like layer it a little bit. What you can do if you have fancy scissors, you can take some thinning okay. shears, which you can probably thinning order shears. online. You can you order can thinning shears the for the tip. <laughs> I, what are these? These are just scissors. Yeah, the, it doesn't matter. He's using scissors worse than what I gave What's you. What's he doing right now? Just trying to describe it to me. He's kind and of then just, just kind of go through. He's going, he's starting from higher up and then chopping in down. Okay, just like this. slowly, just a little bit. Just kind of like run them through. Nothing major. You see, so you, and then it you just kind sort of, of softens like, the ends of it. I'm telling yeah, you, you kind of we're right talking, right. you want to work in a safe way. We're doing, we're not trying to make any major changes. We're just softly trimming. Okay. See how that is? It kind of like they, they lay in nicely. Right? So I'm trying to see, Andy, this is what you would do. I need you to talk me through this. Andy is is uh, just cutting into without holding it. I don't need, Chris, because my problem is thick. Chris is getting tension, into it. If you pull it too hard, the less tension you put, the, the better off you're going to be. If you pull it too hard, it's going to bounce up. So really kind That's of you use your freehand <laughs> artistic kind of abilities, but work in a soft way. All right. Let me ask you a question. That's good yes. for bangs. What if people don't have bangs? What, you know how I have this problem area that gets like heavy on the corner over here, Chris? You know yes. how you always have to cut it? So how do I cut into this heavy corner that I have? So with people with short hair, the best thing to do is there's different ways what you can do is pull it and feel it. You know where that kind of thick area is. Yep. So kind of like pull it, use your hands. Come on, Andy. Yeah. And then just kind of like chip away at it. But if you start off slow. Okay. Well, you're not cutting anything because you don't have hair. You're pretending. I'm yeah, cutting. Yeah, you kind of no. get the gist. I think, I think you get yes. it. I get it. Okay. Um, Andy, what kind of questions do you have? Yeah, well, my big thing is that it's not about the length of my hair. It doesn't grow like long, it grows thick. It's very Jewish hair. Well, this is what I think with guys right now. What you wanna do is you wanna clip the top of your hair up and cut the sides. You can use clippers. Oh, I can do that. Well, I could have gotten clippers. This is something you would do. Get a pair of clippers. You can get them on Amazon. They'll deliver them within, I think now it's about one week. But, okay. Um, and use the bit. I, I always say use the biggest guard to start with. You can always go shorter. Always okay. start off longer. We're thinking safe right now. When you start building confidence, the more we're in quarantine, the longer you are away from your hairdresser the more confident right. you're going to be about cutting your hair. All right, Chris. Thank you so much for helping us out, and we'll keep checking in. I'll check Andy's. I'm going to order some clippers for Andy so he can do the sides like that. That's a good idea. Thank you, you so it. much, Chris. Tune in next time. All right. Tune in next time when I teach you how to do your own Brazilian.